In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I will show you how to edit a sequence of vertical video clips. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well, if you're new to DaVinci Resolve, the first thing you're going to see when you open it up is this panel here. Now you can go ahead and use the Untitled Project by just selecting Open or select a new project and just give it a title once you've uh, given your project a title select create now by default the um, editor uh, comes in at um, 1920 by 1080 I believe I think it's 24 frames a second um, obviously I use this quite a lot so I can't remember the default setting but it's probably going to be 16-9 um, aspect ratio so if you want to just go ahead and start editing this part isn't probably for you but if you want to do vertical videos you've got to change a few settings and the way to do this is come up to file select file and select project settings there are no uh, vertical um, set for uh, formats or um, presets in DaVinci Resolve what you have to do is invert the size so this 1920 would now need to be 1080 and this 1080 would need to be 19 20 it didn't change sometimes you have to just be careful that it actually changes yeah there you are so 1080 by 1920 frame rate if you're going to use the frames um, the the the, um, the frame rate that your video is already uh, filmed in don't worry about the frame rate if you want to change it you can by selecting this drop down arrow here and changing it to match the frame rate that really this is more about the frame rate you render at not so much the frame rate you um so let, let's change this so i'm going to just change this to 25 frames a second and i'll just show you something so this is 25 frames a second um don't worry about all this down here just select save now a trick with a lot of video editors rather than trying to find your files through the browser is actually have a folder open with your files selected and then just drag them all into the timeline now this is where you get this will come up because the frame rate these are filmed at is different than the frame rate I set DaVinci Resolve at I've got a choice I can either select change and this will change the Vincy resolve to the frame rate these were filmed at or I can select don't change it's entirely up to you I want to keep the frame rate the same so I'm going to select change and then just close this down now you can go ahead and edit in this panel here it's quite a handy panel but really you're probably better off going into the editor so just select edit so if I select the first video clip which say is this one here if I double click it it will come up in this window here you've got a choice you can either drag your marker to the point where you want your video to start or you can play and stop so let's start about here to the right of the view you've got a couple of arrows one says mark in and one says mark out so you can select this or just press I on your keyboard so let's mark this in Now I could play this to the point where I want it to finish or again I could drag this marker and this time I'm going to select mark 
out. And once you've done that, drag your clip into the timeline and snap it up to the beginning. The reason I use this um, method, although it, it's not so important in uh, DaVinci Resolve, is because if I'm not happy with anything, I can change the length by dragging these out a bit and this will actually start so I can change you know without um, worrying about cutting anything I can actually drag this out so it finishes here say so let's do another one um, let's go for this one here double click it and again save time I'm just going to drag this along so we'll start about here and mark it in and we'll drag this out like I said you can always play it and stop it as well so we'll mark this out now this time when you drag your video clip don't snap it up just drag it like this because that means you can change the length um, if you're not happy with what you're, um, you've set it at here and that's basically it I'll just do a couple of a uh, couple more so I know this one doesn't do much so I'll just drag it out mark it in play it so that it looks like it's bored you get bored rather mark it out drag it in and this time I'll place this one here um, one more again nothing much happens here so let's start it there and play it so you get bored watching it that'll do about there say mark it out drag it into the timeline and snap it up the reason another reason why you you may want to consider uh doing it this way um, by having them staggered is you've got something here as well which you can drag I'm not going to go into this but if I was to place this video over this one at this point here I could by dragging these markers which flash up at the top actually do a crossfade but I'm not going to do that this is I'm going to keep this tutorial quite simple and I'm going to make, go for a very simple way of um, rendering uh, videos in uh, DaVinci Resolve. So I am just gonna go back to cut here, right at the bottom. And I'm gonna select quick export. And for most of the stuff you're gonna do, um, if you're an amateur, this is perfectly adequate. So just select quick export, and then select export, and decide where you're gonna save your video so let's go on desktop you can leave this as timeline one or just get it give it a title and then select save and wait for this bar to finish over here I'll come back to this when it's finished once your video is finished rendering hopefully you should have a video that you have edited successfully Hopefully that's helped someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.